Hey guys, Mish here, and today I wanted to talk about the Law of Attraction and whether or not it has any basis in science. So for those of you who don't know, the Law of Attraction is this idea slash philosophy slash belief that thoughts become things. And things doesn't necessarily mean material things. It can also be things like relationships or weight loss or clear skin. The idea is that your beliefs and your thoughts and how you feel can directly affect these things and bring good things to you or if you have negative emotions and negative thoughts and negative beliefs you can bring negative things to you. So it's the idea that your vibration or your emotions, thoughts, and beliefs can attract things to you, hence the law of attraction. So at its simplest level it's the idea that if you really want this specific car and you just think about that car a lot and you just believe that you have that car that you will get the car. Just like that. And I actually discovered it through vegan YouTubers because I noticed quite a few of them talk about it. And when I first saw it, I thought it was ridiculous. And I was surprised to discover how popular it is. But since then, I've looked into it a little bit more and actually become a little bit fascinated by the whole idea. And so in my research of it, I have discovered that parts of it might actually have some scientific basis. So there's a couple law of attraction gurus out there who write a lot of the books and pretty much tell people how to do it. And I read some of these books and the science portions made me nauseous. So instead of basing it on psychology, which is really where all the strong support would come from, they decided to make an argument based on physics that somehow your thoughts are atoms and that through quantum mechanics they attract other atoms into your vibration. Just, no, no. The science that does exist on that topic would say that it is completely false. So we don't know, but we can be pretty confident that your thoughts are not actually changing the world around you based on some weird electron-based quantum properties. That's just not a thing. But there are some aspects of law of attraction that actually make a lot of sense from a scientific basis. So given that I study psychology, I'm going to focus on the psychology ones because that is really where the support comes from. I feel like there are three main psychological theories that the law of attraction taps into, and so I'll sort of go over those in turn. The first is placebo, which you may have heard of, and the second slash third kind of together are locus of control and self-efficacy. So there's, these are some fancy terms, but I'll break them down for you. And to start, I'll go over placebo. So instead of the law of attraction, I think it would be much better termed the law of placebo. Because the whole idea that believing can change your actions and your outcomes is actually something we see a lot in the scientific literature, and it's the whole idea of placebo. So let's say you're suffering from a cold, and someone gives you a sugar pill and says, hey, this is going to make your cold get better, this is some new fancy cold medicine, it's been shown to work on X studies and so and so. If someone really convinced you that they had a pill that would cure your cold and you took that pill, there's a very, very, very good chance you would actually feel better, even though that pill was made of sugar and had no real ingredients that could possibly help you with your cold. And that is because the power of placebo, which we don't understand super well, but it is a very scientifically validated idea that your beliefs can actually change your health and how you feel and just a lot of things. And so that's why every single study that studies interventions and treatments and medicines has to include a placebo group because so much of the effect comes from just believing that you're being treated, which is pretty amazing in itself. And the reason why I think the law of attraction should therefore be called the law of placebo is because it's this whole idea that believing in something can actually make it happen. And so the question is, what is the in-between there? Like, why would believing that your soulmate is going to show up on your doorstep tomorrow make it more likely to actually happen? And a lot of this, at least I think, has to do with self-efficacy. Let's say you want to lose weight. You've been trying to lose weight forever, but you have this doubt and you don't think you can because every time you tried you failed. And so every time you try to lose weight you have these little doubts saying, oh I can't do it, I failed in the past, why would I be able to do it now, I'm fat, blah blah blah. However, if you decide to start just believing yourself, as Law of Attraction proponents would tell you, you need to believe you're losing the weight, you have to act as if you've already lost the weight and feel really good about yourself and feel grateful for the body you do have, and to let go of all doubts and all resistance to the idea of losing weight. That's the whole Law of Attraction spiel. It's actually pretty great when you think about it, because at the very least you're going to feel much, much better about yourself. And there are actually studies that pretty much corroborate this exact same idea, that if you believe that you can lose weight 
and believe that you are in control of your ability to lose weight, then you are more likely to be able to lose weight. And I'll share two of those studies in an upcoming video. But it has been shown that this whole believing in yourself can actually make a huge difference, especially with health-related behaviors and things you really do have full control over. So while this clearly applies to things like weight loss and changing yourself and changing your body, it's less clear how this might affect interpersonal things, I feel like. But I think the science would actually support the interpersonal aspects of law of attraction too. So another example would be, let's say you really want to get a promotion at work. You've been trying for it forever, and now you're just going to follow law of attraction and say that you believe you're going to get it, you're sure you're going to get it, you're going to act as if you have it, you're going to feel really grateful for your job and how much you love it, and just really focus on positive feelings towards your job. This, in turn, will most likely make you much more cheerful at work, make you much more productive, make you much more pleasant to interact with, your boss might notice that you're really putting in a lot of effort and really acting the part of that promotion, and therefore, you're more likely to get the promotion. And this can also apply to your love life. So another huge attraction of the law of attraction is that people like to use it to find their soulmates and form relationships and things, and so they call it attracting your soulmate. So let's say, once again, you believe that soon, at some unspecified date, you're gonna find the love of your life, the person of your dreams, you have this whole mental image of them, you believe with all your heart that they are coming. So next time you see someone who fits that description, whereas before you decided to start thinking law of attraction type things, you might have saw them and said, oh god, they're too good for me, they're probably taken, there's no point in trying to approach them, and even if you don't have all these thoughts consciously, there's probably a lot of that going on under the surface that's just inhibiting your behavior and you're just less likely to approach them. However, if you have this strong belief through law of attraction that you are super confident that this person could be the one and that you know the one is coming, you're much more likely to give it a shot and go give it your all and put yourself out there and you're much more likely to be positive and confident and just give off this positive vibe as LOA people like to say, and LOA means law of attraction by the way. If you give off this positive vibe, other people actually will pick up on your behavior changes and your mannerisms and you're probably more likely to attract that relationship that you were trying to get just through the change in behavior that these beliefs cause. Another psychological concept it taps into is locus of control. So there are people who believe that the circumstances in their lives are in their control and they have the ability to change these things and cause these things and that is an internal locus of control. And then there's the people who believe their circumstances are a result of the external world and it's the world imposing these things on them and they have an external locus of control. So for example, if someone with an internal locus of control is facing a really stressful exam, they'll be more likely to study a lot because they believe that they can control their grade and so they're gonna put in a lot of effort, well, most likely, and believe that they get to shape what grade they get. They get to decide how they do on this really hard exam. However, someone with an external locus of control might say, oh, this exam's too hard, it, I just can't do it because it's just too hard of an exam, like what am I supposed to do, right? And so external locus of control has been associated with things like depression and helplessness, whereas internal locus of control, at least when you use it to explain good things, is associated with a lot of really positive life outcomes and just self-efficacy, ability to get things done, and feeling more positive and having a higher well-being. And so I feel like law of attraction is a great way to try to shift your locus of control from external to internal and just believe that you do have control over your circumstances. Because irrespective of all the metaphysical hoo-ha, you really can shape your circumstances. And if law of attraction is a way to help you believe in your ability to change things, then it is a really great tool and it's a great idea. Although science can't really say much about the metaphysical aspects of law of attraction, which is the whole idea that you actually shape your reality with your thoughts, like literally, like if I believe this pillow melted into water, Maybe I could, but the only reason I can is because I don't believe it enough. It's pretty much what people will tell you. That is not supported by science, and in my opinion is a bunch of hoo-ha. However, some aspects of law of attraction are supported by science, and I will be sharing more specific studies on that in the future. So that is a scientist's two cents on the law of attraction. I personally think it's really cool. At first I thought it was nauseating, <laughs> at least the science part with the atoms and the quantum, but Really, at its core, I think it's a really great idea and it's a really great way to make people more grateful and to believe in themselves more, be more confident, be more positive, and it's, it's great. My life has improved a lot since I started adopting the principles of 
being grateful for what I do have and focusing on the positives rather than focusing on the negatives and I feel like a lot of amazing things have been coming my way since. Like, I have a lot more friends now since I started believing that maybe people do want to be friends with me because maybe I am a pleasant person to be around and I started believing in that and so that made me act more positively and that in turn made people respond to me more positively and now I just I'm surrounded by amazing people all the time and I'm just really grateful for that. So I hope that was useful to you and if you are suffering from an external locus of control or feeling helpless over the circumstances in your life then I highly recommend checking out law of attraction type things and skipping over the science sections because they're horrible. Thanks so much for watching and please share and subscribe to see more videos and also if you could support me on Patreon I'd really appreciate it. The link is in the description below and I'll throw it up here on the video. Thanks so much.